Howdy, howdy, fellow YouTubers, Mr. Z Bunchy Numbers here. Flying Monkey! I'm a star. I'm a star. Yep, that's right. It's Flying Monkey, y'all. Flying Monkey was on vacation yesterday, for those of you who may have been wondering. Anyways, the star's back on the show and ready to watch us do a little bit of a review here. So, this is another part of my desk collection update. Re update yesterday, and let's get started. First off is the short card 32 Vicky. Very sweet looking flamage. Plastic based and the metal engine. Two of the Race World series pit cruisers with the Holly Davidson colors. Very nice. The Callaway C7 in a nice blue. Very cool car. And a little bit of a red dot on the back for the tail lights. That's kind of uneven, so it looks like it's kind of having a bad day. The 70 Monte Carlo. Most of you have seen this by now on the shelves already. The Custom 41 Willis Coupe. This is the best color, I think, out of all of the color variations that they've had um, with this deco on it. Um, I do have a regular blue one of this that I'll show you guys later. The 10 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500, the best color combo. There's a silver and black that also looks very nice in that car. The 72 Ford Torino Grand Sport, nothing too fancy. The Series 5 62 Corvette in chrome. I don't know why in the world they ever got rid of classics. By far the best series of cars they have ever put out for mainline collectors like most of us. <clears throat> the tea bucket in a nice spectra flame blue, some graphics, a little bit fancy. The 1940s Woody in the kind of aqua blue spectra flame. The 1957 Chevy Bel Air convertible with Goodyear tires in the shiny chrome finish. Gotta love you some chrome, that's right. Got that chrome. In the 1968 Mustang. Now this sucker is fly! Yeah, I think I'll be flying high in this sucker. Yep, it's got some headlight silver paint and black for the grill. Striping. The Goodyear glass back tires. Uh, yeah, it's just a very nice touch. And then the back is black with the silver centerpiece and the red taillight deco. Very, very good details. This is by far one of my favorites. Very cool car. The 1970 Dodge Dart. Nothing too fancy with that one. And the Hot Bird. Ooh, this car is nice. And same goes with this one. It's got the Trans Am lettering on the spoiler, the taillight decos, a Hot Wheels thing where the license plate is, and the BF Goodrich Radial TA tires. This is very smoky in the bandit right here, folks, with the kind of blackish purple Spectra Flame color. Very, very nice color. The Solar Eagle 3. Now, I don't know where Solar Eagle 2 and 1 are, but hey, at least there's 3. And then the Escort Rally with the Ford Rally base, a little bit uh, less common. The Isuzu Via Cross 1999, a very interesting and characterful car that was released for a very short time. Very cool car. The Bad Mudder, this is the second one of this I have, and this is the original one that I bought when it was first released at KB Toys for uh, Daddy LVO. Yep, KB Toys back in the day. Very cool little toy store. It's unfortunate that it went out of business. They always did charge more for stuff though. That was the only gripe I had. But other than that, they're a cool store and they always had good stuff. And then it's the Phaeton Rat Rod Series. In the Rat Rod Series Showbox. Got the fuzzy dice and some pinstriping. White wall tires and an engine sticking out of the hood with a supercharger. The Star Spangled Series 2, Thunderbird, T-Bird, whatever you want to call it. The Toyota Baja truck on a short card. 
the Lakester. And this is the non-error version that I have installed in the package, right? Nothing too fancy. Pearl Passion. Ooh -wee. And then the white walled variation of that same Pearl Passion. The steel stamps. Uh, purple Passion, Steel Passion with the white walls. And then the regular version as well. Got those all together. And then the Hot Rods, Purple Passion Woody. The very first year that this car was introduced in the Synth 68 series. Hard to find. And then the Purple Passion from the Star Spangled 2 series as well. With some nice wheels on it. And the Auto Parts Place. AC Delco Limited Edition Stocker. Pontiac Stocker. The Custom Ford Mustang for the Mustang Mania series. The Fatbacks Duplified. Now this one's an error car. It's got a black wheel. I didn't notice it when I first bought it, but you know, a few years down the road I was looking at it. I'm like, oh wow. Never noticed that. Pretty sweet little detail. And then the Rail Rider. Nothing too fancy. Swing Fire. Got this for like 50 cents at a car show a few years ago. And pretty cool little car with these white wall tires. And last of the regular cars is the Radio Flyer Wagon. <clears throat> and then I have a bunch of mystery cars. The Corvette mystery car from this 2010. The Honda Civic mystery car. The Aston Martin mystery car. The, I think it's Plymouth Super B something like that mystery car. The Purple Passion mystery car, and I think I actually have two of those. Um, this one's uh, one that doesn't have a peak hole, so I might have to open that one. The GTO convertible mystery car. Um, this one is the Nissan Skyline R32 mystery car. And this one is an upside down Plymouth Barracuda mystery car. And here goes nothing. I'm going to open this mystery car since I don't know what it is and I can't tell y'all what it is. And what do we got? Oh, wow. We have the Corvette Grand Sport mystery car. Oh, wow. Now that's been sitting in these packages. Silly me. I don't know why I would keep something like that closed. So yep, got the pearl, very nice pearl Corvette Grand Sport mystery car. Blue windows, very nice details, number five, very cool mystery car. So anyways, that's my update for this time. Peace into my next one.